Hi everybody, Clarksdale and Coloma County. This is Rebecca Yearout. I'm the news editor at the Clarksdale Press Register and uh, I'm here with Jesse Wright, the managing editor of the paper, and we're going to give you a little insight as to what's coming up in Wednesday's issue. Um, Jesse, you had a few interesting stories about the Clarksdale Police Department. I did. A uh, small number of stories in the paper. Got a story about uh, a couple officers who did some good deeds in recent weeks. They got some letters from, uh, I guess, some out-of-town visitors. One police officer helped find a purse that was stolen from a car near uh, the Ranchero. Another incident, uh, some folks came in a big RV camper and um, they were lost. They got helped by uh, the police, a police officer. Uh, probably, I think, the story with the most interest to our readers, though, is the front page story, the background of the Nathaniel Robertson investigation. Mr. Robertson, of course, pled guilty a couple of weeks ago to the murder of Miss Ethel Lewis, a downtown resident, 80 years old, Milgram uh, story. In 2012, when the crime happened, there was a lot of talk about how quickly uh, police were able to catch uh, Mr. Robertson. He was caught in Sunflower County. We sat down with the chief last week and he went through the whole background of how uh, a tip led to his eventual capture just a few hours later and what all went into that and uh, finally i had a story about some of the drug arrests that have been going on in clarksville unfortunately couldn't talk too much about that because it is an ongoing investigation they are working with state law enforcement agencies and federal law enforcement agencies too now it wasn't all uh Cops and robbers in the news. Rebecca, I know you had a couple of stories about some fundraisers. I did. Um, there's going to be two fundraisers uh, coming up this week. Um, one of them is, well, actually, I think both of them are the first time they've ever happened. One is called For the Love of Books, and it's a partnership between the library and the Coma County Higher Education Center. Um, they're trying to raise money to keep their community book talk series going, to keep authors uh, coming to Clarksdale, reading their books, signing their books. Um, they've already got three really nice authors um, lined up already, and um, they're looking to raise more money to help keep this program going and self-sustaining. Um, so check out the paper, make sure you go to that if you can, and support the library as much as you can. Also, um, Aggie is going to be having a fundraiser. Um, the first one that they've had um, for their food science students, um, they're going to have Aggie's Night of Romance, is what it's called, at the Couture Mansion. And the tickets are $20, and you get a full menu from appetizers to desserts, all made by students with the food, sci food science program at Aggie. Um, and all the proceeds from that go to buy equipment for that program. So it's a very good you know, event to go to. Um, that's on the 12th as well, and so is the library event on the 12th. Um, and then I also had a story about spring kids learning how about recycling. Mark Taylor, uh, the city's recycling manager, came and talked to some kids at spring about the importance of recycling, told them what they can recycle, and encouraged them to start recycling at home. And she closed the presentation by reading a really fun kid's book at the end of it, um, which they all seemed to enjoy. And um, these were kids in grades one through six. So it was really interesting to see how engaged they were in it. They were really interested in learning about recycling. And um, she talked a little bit more about some plans that they have to keep recycling going and hopefully growing the program in Clarksdale. So, and then Jesse, you had some sports stories too, I know. Yes, we had a uh, exciting week of basketball with the uh, public schools. <clears throat> Some schools did a little better than others. Aggie in particular did uh, very well. The city schools did really well. The county had a loss, unfortunately. But everyone's back up and at it again this week. And uh, we'll have, obviously, coverage for you uh, Friday's paper. Uh, and let's see, Rebecca, you covered a car crash. A little something-something in there, anyway. There was. A short story. Um, a one car crash on Highway 61 yesterday. Um, nobody was um, fatally injured. Um, there were no serious injuries, and that was what um, the Coma County Sheriff's Office told me. Um, it was a pretty bad wreck, although the car went over the median and flipped over onto southbound 61 in the oncoming traffic. Luckily, no other cars were involved. 
um, and there, nobody, although there was an airlift helicopter on the scene, nobody had to be airlifted, luckily. So it seems like everybody's going to come out of that one okay. Um, but it probably did hold up traffic on 61 there for a minute. Um, and you had a fundraiser story too, Jesse. The same was good. Oh yeah, I did have a fundraiser story. Uh, so fun, I forgot about it. The St. Elizabeth's Drawdown probably, uh, well, you know, no disrespect to the other fundraisers, but it probably is one of the most anticipated fundraisers in the area. Uh, the Catholic school uh, is selling tickets for $100 for two people and for our long-time readers. I'm sure you all know the process already that $100 gets you free food, free drinks, and it allows you a chance to win $10,000. So it's exciting and fun-filled uh, time for all. And that's going to be this coming Friday. And if you don't have tickets yet, no worries. Call Roan Walker, her name and number uh, is in the story. I also had a couple of city council stories. You know, folks, Nothing beats the city council meeting, not for the price anyway. It's That's the right. cheapest entertainment you'll find in town. Last week, there was a special city council meeting about uh, the Delta Wire project for a few months now. Clarksdale Mayor Bill Luckett has been talking about turning that into a soundstage. It looks like we're one step closer in that development. Read the story for more information about that. And of course, I covered Monday's regularly scheduled city council meeting where the topics were white people and black birds. That was interesting. Be sure and read about it. You'll like it. And of course, as we have uh, for every Wednesday since January, we've got the candidates list, the complete list of um, everyone up for election, statewide and local offices. So be sure and check that out as well. I guess the update this week is all the uh, aldermen, uh, sorry, excuse me. The update this week is all the county commissioner races now have opponents there is no unopposed seat so it's shaping up to be a fun little contested race for all quite an election year thank you all so much we'll see you next week well no well, see you friday see you friday sorry that's right no one gets out of here alive friday you can edit that right <laughs> no leave that in there <laughs>